What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jossie Lynn J and today we are going to be talking about what is in my everyday carry, what is in my bag for 2020. But before we start this video, I want to give a special shout out to our sponsor, Bag Smart, for sending me over their Falco commuter pack. For those who don't know, I work full time as a software developer. So this is basically what I carry every day to work. I have two backpacks that I typically carry. I've really enjoyed this new backpack that BagSmart sent me over because it's very lightweight and there's a lot of storage units and a lot of pockets that I can put in my everyday essentials. So the first thing that I wanna talk about that's in my bag out of the many things that is in there is just this memory card holder, memory card case. Uh, this is where I like to put my SD cards because I don't want to lose my memory cards. No one should ever lose their memory cards because there's so much viable information in here, especially when I'm shooting video. So I want to make sure that my storage, I want to make sure that my memory cards are protected and in the same place all the time so I can have easy access to them. And I got this from the brands called like Yetebit. I'm sorry, I don't really know how to pronounce the brand name, but I will link every product in the description box. The next thing that I typically have, which is an essential for me every day, is this Lower Pro Gear Up camera case. I really like this bag because it's small, compact, lightweight. I could throw it in really any backpack that I've ever used. And I typically store cords in here that I need for either my Apple Watch, my cell phone, maybe my camera if I'm bringing my camera with me. And I also like to keep my WD one terabyte external hard drive in here to make sure that it is protected. Another weird item that you will see YouTubers having in their camera bag or everyday carry backpack all the time is this Joby tripod. So I use this for when I'm filming on the go. So maybe if I'm at like a coffee shop and I wanna get a scene of me drinking coffee or on the computer or doing something at all and it's and I want a more elevated shot and not a shot from you know the table but a little bit higher than the elevation of the table I'll use this jo this Joby tripod this is really nice if you are a filmmaker no matter if you are a professional or you're just starting out this is something that you're really gonna love having now we're gonna talk about some of my favorite 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 tech items that I use all the time and <laughs> I just slapped this Supreme sticker on this bag that I got from Amazon because I sold my previous 13 inch MacBook Pro and I didn't want to throw this sticker away. But anyways, headphones. The next two items I want to talk about is first, this Fromsky hard case for my Sony WH-XB900N wireless over ear Bluetooth, I already said Bluetooth. Bluetooth wireless thing. Over ear noise canceling headphones. And the reason why I have a case is because I bought these headphones renewed from Amazon. And the reason being is because you can save a lot of money if you buy items renewed from Amazon. For those who don't know what renewed is, it's basically like refurbished items that Amazon will clean up and make sure that they work. And these are a great, great headphone. I'm so glad I made the purchase. I used to have the Bose QuietComfort 25s, and I recommend those headphones too. They're great, but I wanted a wireless over ear headphone. And what's so great about these headphones is that they have adaptive noise cancellation. You can control the headphone on the actual ear cuff. So if someone's talking to me at work and I just put my, I can show you. If I put my hands over the ear cuffs like this, it will go to ambient sound control. And then when I take my hands off, it'll go back to noise cancellation or whatever custom feature that I have for whatever listening experience I need at the moment. And when you get up from your desk and you start walking, the noise cancellation and the sound control will change as well. That will better suit you for when you're walking. So I really, really like these headphones. They're really lightweight. I wish I could have got them in black, but whatever, I saved like $150. But these are great, great headphones. And in terms of the case, it's just this like kind of cheap, really cheap, fake carbon fiber texture design, but it gets the job done. And I slapped this Supreme sticker on it because I actually sold my 13 inch laptop and it had stickers on it. 
and I don't want to throw this sticker away. The next thing in my bag is the Apple AirPods Gen 2 with the wireless charging case. I don't have to talk a ton about AirPods. Everyone knows that these are an amazing device. And I like that even though I have these in my ears, I still feel connected to the environment around me. Because sometimes I don't always like having over ear headphones on anyways. So these are great in ear headphones. Keep them in the same spot all the time so you don't lose them. And the next thing is this MX Master 3. I don't always carry this. Um, I'd be telling a story if I said I carry this every day. I don't, I have another one that I use at work. But if I wanna go to another space to edit or film or just be on my, I know I'm about to go somewhere and be on my laptop for a long time, I would definitely take this just because I don't always like using the trackpad, but this is the MX Master 3 that Logitech sent me. Shout out to Logitech once again for sending me this amazing device. This is my go-to mouse. The Falco Commuter Pack is a whopping 2.25 pounds, has external dimensions of 18.1 inches in length, 13.4 inches in width, and 6.3 inches in height. And it can fit a laptop up to 15.6 inches, but as shown in the video, it can actually fit 16 inches, and it might even be able to fit 17 inches. The primary material is water-resistant polyester and RPET recyclable material and has a volume of 20 liters. My favorite feature about this book bag is the E-Zone, which is made to ensure your laptop and your digital accessories are safe. The E-Zone is a specially designed compartment for your laptop, digital accessories, and those other expensive tech items that you have. You can use the E-Zone compartment to store your laptops, as I mentioned earlier, up to 16 inches in my opinion. My 16 inch MacBook Pro fits perfectly. You can put an iPad in here. As a matter of fact, I carry two laptops a day, my personal and work laptop. and. The E-Zone also has Eva foam to protect your laptop in case you accidentally fall or drop your backpack for extra protection. So as you can see, this E-Zone laptop compartment can fit a 16 inch MacBook Pro. I'd even go as far as to say it could probably fit that 17 inch Razer. And the reason being is because there's a little bit more room, um, a little bit more room for a taller, larger laptop. Not to forget that the material of this backpack is abrasion resistant. And one thing I've noticed and actually really enjoy about using this as my everyday carry is that it's lightweight and minimal, but the fabric is durable and tearproof. And as a Midwesterner, I very much appreciate that this laptop is water repellent to prevent water from damaging my belongings, especially the expensive ones in the E-Zone. Make carrying smarter with BagSmart and use promo code JOSSIE15 for 15% off your next order. The next device, this JBL Clip3 Bluetooth speaker. I'm not even gonna lie, I didn't even know what this thing was five days ago or prior to the code jam that I participated in in our Team One Best presentation. So we were rewarded JBL Clip3 Bluetooth speakers and the speaker is actually really, really good. Um, I, the last JBL speaker I had was great as well, but I really like this because it's small, it's portable, it can clip to stuff, which is nice. So I can actually store this away in my backpack for when, I don't know, I wanna to listen to music when I'm going on a walk or I'm playing basketball or something like that. We even play music at work sometimes, so maybe. I used to do that, I probably won't. But this is a great Bluetooth speaker. It's very, very affordable and it has up to 10 hours of battery life per charge. And the next couple things, I mean, I'm not gonna talk much about these things, but popcorn, Notebook, popcorn, um, calendar. I've been wanting to be more organized, especially for 2020, because I have a lot more things going on with YouTube and trying to get videos out on a consistent basis and working with brands and all that good stuff and just being more organized in general um, and being accountable for some of the things that I want to do this year. And then just this notebook to write down video ideas, keep up with my finances and other personal stuff. The next thing that's a must have is a portable charger. So shout out to PowerAd. I did a video of, 
about this power add energy cell 20,000 and I also talked about a smaller portable charger that power add sent me as well the energy cell to 10,000 but this is a really nice portable charger I like the color it's heavy duty so you don't feel like you're gonna break it if you drop it and it's really powerful. There's been so many times I was out traveling and I was using my iPhone to film and put um, video and content on my Instagram story and then my you know, iPhone dies at 1 p.m. That happened a couple of times or at least once when I was in New York City and we actually didn't have a portable charger and that was before I did content creation so I was just like, ah, my phone's dead, I'm out of luck. But now I have a portable charger so I can always stay charged because my phone's always dying and I needed this, Lord knows I needed this. And the last thing that I wanna talk about, which is the most exciting thing that I have a video about or an unboxing first impression right up here, if you wanna check that out. But this is the i9 2019 MacBook Pro 16 inch with the one terabyte SSD. It also has eight cores. So I just got this laptop, I just upgraded to this 16 inch MacBook Pro and the reason being is because I needed a more powerful laptop for not only video editing and content creation but also for programming but the main reason was for the 4k video editing and it just makes my workflow a lot faster I'm more efficient because I want to start putting out videos more consistently like I want to put out videos on a weekly basis or even two times a week and I think this will help a lot has a lot of power, I love the display, I love, love, love the scissor keyboard because I was tired of using that butterfly keyboard and it's actually a, lot, a little bit thicker and it's heavier and I like that, it feels heavy duty. It's a heavy duty laptop. So this is a 16 inch that I use and I also have a 15 inch that I use for my work. So I use a 15 inch laptop as my work laptop. So two heavy laptops, one light book bag, but it still gets the job done. So. That's what is in my backpack. That's what's in my everyday carry for 2020. Thank you all for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it at all. Comment down below some of your thoughts or some of the things that you carry on an everyday basis or just some tech essentials and accessories that are a must have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love for you all to become a part of the fam. Hit the notification bell so you can know right away when I drop a video. And as always, I'll see you all soon. Stay blessed, peace.